you guys already know what this is tinder series episode two bro so we got jessica here she is a gym rat dog lover traveler looking for someone to eat donuts with me nice finally tinder sends me some decent looking women bro it takes them for it doesn't have a check on her name could be fake bro could be fake so i told her what is your life philosophy <laughs> philosophy <Fuck. laughs> what is your life philosophy what is the meaning of your life she never replied to me and that's okay because obviously i can't even pronounce that word why would you date me why the fuck would you date me <laughs> ali here try and show me your tattoo skills while listening to music and she said if you want a tattoo you have to come to the shop but I'll definitely listen to music with you. I'm down for that. What's your number? Oh, oh, unbelievable. Trying to grab a drink and go dancing? Dude, yes, but I'm visiting my family in Memphis this weekend. That's all right. When you're back, we can chill. What's your number? My nigga. <laughs> I used to be fat. That's where she got them from. That's exactly where she got them from, bro. She used to be fat. You can see she used to be fat. That's where she got them from. Those shorts. She got those shorts when she used to be fat. That's exactly where she got them from. And if you were thinking of something else, you're a fucking pervert and you're disgusting. I used to be fat, so I'm funny. Okay. Also a little emotionally unstable. Haha. <laughs> I enjoy the gym, my family slash friends, making money and getting high as fuck. Well, Allison, I think me and you would be a great, great partner in crime, fighting against the cruel, dark world, lonely, empty abyss we call life. So we got Zoe here. She is 18. Again, I told you I don't fuck with that but i kind of made tinder to troll women not to meet them so we're gonna just fuck around help me beat mario then we'll talk just want a little thrill shit have you tried going to the amusement park six flags haunted museums if you want a little thrill you can go there yeah i mean you don't have to go to tinder to get a little thrill there's multiple places to get a little thrill um, I, I get a little thrill going to salons because they give me wine and I get to talk to beautiful women. So I told her, when do you want me to come beat you in Mario? And she said, you can anytime, I promise you. Yeah. I just want to let you guys know, she gave me her phone number. Obviously, I can't show you that because, yeah. Let's skip small talk and give me your number. LOL, the confidence. A quiet mouth doesn't get fed. I didn't even say the same right. I googled it and I still typed it in wrong. Straight up. But I'll like to get to know you more. This conversation kept going on for like a good six, eight rows. Whatever. I got a phone number. Yay. I just don't have the evidence, which would have been much better than just getting our phone number. We got Parker here. Need some friends. Always down for a good time like to get outdoors and get fucked oh she's straight wow that's a first <laughs> so let's skip the small talk and give me your number she said hmm and i told her i can cook some killer fruity pebbles never reply to me again i forgot to mention to you guys that i have tinder gold i just did not see a point of me swiping on women that do not use the app instead i would just sit there and let the women swipe on me and then i can pick and choose on who i want to talk to it seems like the most logical choice so we got Skylar here, beautiful eyes. Not only does she have beautiful eyes, she has a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rack of titties. And they are magnificent. Y'all don't get to see any sort of my titties. She likes antiques, frogs, polyester, barbecue ribs, quality leather, 14 karat gold because she's poor, revolvers, and anti-capitalism. Since y'all love to brag about height, 36, da, 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 damn, those are some fat titties. That's what she has, bro. Tow truck museum date? And I hate emotionally unavailable people. If she says she hates this, she loves it, bro. She loves it. I hate it. No, you don't. 
No, you don't. I don't usually do this. Yes, the fuck you do. I don't usually let guys hit me raw. Yes, the fuck you do. And that's why I'm wrapping it up. That's exactly why I'm wrapping it up. I'm not taking your word. Don't sit here and try to make me feel special. Like I'm the only guy that's gonna hit it raw. Bitch, every guy hits it raw. Fuck out of here, bro. Don't, don't, don't do it, bro. My mama said trust no hope, use a rubber. If she hated emotionally unavailable people, she wouldn't be on Tinder. You would find regular, normal, sane humans in real life. On Tinder, it is a cesspool of dumbasses like me. So I approached her as a gentleman like I always do because that's the man I am. And I told her, as a respectful gentleman from the 1950s. If I take you to the tow truck museum, are you gonna let me dig my face in those knockers? And she told me, LMAO. I want to say yes, just because that was funny as fuck. I'm telling you guys, sometimes you have to be honest with these women. And sometimes you have to be attractive, cause you know. You gotta look at these women and tell them straight to their face. I want to dig my face in those titties if that's what you want to do stop beating around the bush tell them straight up one or two things can happen a she's gonna let you dig your face in those titties or b you're gonna catch a restraining order and it's probably gonna be b so i wouldn't recommend doing what i do we got this chick she is nine miles away looking for someone to watch the newest season of Ought with me if you want to hold hands my mom has to talk to your mom first Hee <laughs> Alright, she's a tortoise, which means uh, she lives for like a very long time. That's what tortoises live for, right? So, as the gentleman that I am, I approached this woman very kind, very softly, and told her my intentions from the beginning. And I told her, I'm trying to meet your family and eat that <coughs> which is 100% a fact. I am being respectful. I'm trying to meet your family, respectful, and eat that food. Also respectful, I'm telling her what my steps are. Step one, meet your family. Step two, eat that <laughs> Step three, I lied about step two. And she told me, a gentleman. I told you, I told you guys, I am a gentleman. I tell these women respectfully what my intentions are. If they don't like it, they can leave. They can unmatch me. It's okay. I'm not gonna get heartbroken. I got tons of more other women to the side to pick from. It ain't gonna break my heart, baby girl. It's okay. My my, you have a very interesting profile. A true ladies man. A true ladies man. You're absolutely right. A true ladies man always, always has. 5W30 oil in his room. There's no reason you should never have 5W30 oil in your room. You never know when you're going to need it for lubrication, for conditioning, for shampoo, for shaving. It, it has multiple purposes. Pins oil? I'm not sponsored, but I use it to brush my teeth. I try my best to keep women happy. If you give me your number, I can show you how. That's a solid 6.9 out of 10 response, bro. The fuck are you talking about? Some of y'all said I had no game. The fuck? What is that? What is that, bro? The fuck are you talking about? I'm a savage in these streets, bro. And she said, I will. Currently with the fam right now, so I'm a little. But text me later tonight. Smiley face. It's Mr. Still Your Girl. It's Mr. Still Your Girl. Let's move on to our next target. Black History Month is almost up, and I haven't made up my reparations. Down and sit on my face. I thought that was pretty good. No response, but that's all right. You know what? That's all right. Everyone has different jokes, different sense of humor, and that's okay. She obviously did not want to help me get my reparations in, but that's all right match with this chick and I said I fuck with your earring down to chill and show me what you've been watching on Netflix hell yeah just want to say I worked at the same FedEx with you and I'm sure you don't remember me but I always thought your hair was I appreciate you appreciating my hair because I came in FedEx every morning bro 
a stud only because I delivered packages to the business area and the business area has a lot of women and women love my hair the way the packages sit on my hands and I have to tilt my head back when I take a step left and right my hair will go whoo, 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 and it will just mesmerize these bitches sadly I don't think I remember you but thank you and she gave me a heart cuz she knows she knows daddy oh my shirt and I said what's your number if you guys want more Tinder videos, let me know. Till then, I am out. She wanna fuck me in a Plymouth Barracuda.